Thank you very much. I think tonight uh, I can say with more conviction than ever that you are truly a magnificent and great crowd. I've never s witnessed or stood before such an audience in all my life. Uh, but uh, uh, it is very nice to be seen on CNN today as I was getting ready for the show. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> because last time I was in New York and being on CNN, I was being indicted. So I think the induction <laughs> is much more fun. <laughs> and the food is much better, too. <laughs> I'm sure we all have a lot of people to thank, and there's a lot of us here, so I'm going to try to make it brief. Uh, first, I'd like to thank all of our fans who stuck with us uh, through thick and thin. Uh, I would like to thank Mr. Steve Masarski, who has pulled us out of the depths of hell over the past 25 years with uh, friendship and kindness and very astute knowledge. I uh, would like to thank Bert Holman, who has become a true manager for our band and is part of us. I'd like to thank Johnny Podell, who has been with us booking for from the very first day, from the very first day we came to, to uh, from Jacksonville to Macon, Georgia. Tom Dowd, who has produced everything we've done except when the business wouldn't allow it. <laughs> Tom Dowd is uh, more of a, more or less a father figure to us. No, no uh, insult to your age, Tom. I'm getting up there with you, but. Uh, <laughs> Also, I would like to thank, and I can't help but say this, Bill Graham. Bill Graham gave us our big chance at the Fillmore East. He said good things about us, outrageous things, that we were the best damn band in America, which was, as far as I was concerned, an overstatement. He didn't think so, but people printed it. And it put us over the edge. Bill Graham is a cornerstone of music, and he sure is a cornerstone in this band. Thank you very much. Thank you, folks. In honor of the greatest friend, brother, guitar player, and inspiration I've ever known, my brother Dwayne was always the first to face the fire. He was my greatest motivation. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm J-Mo. Um, and here's my speech. It's only three pages, so I'll make it as brief as I you can. Ain't that, I'm gonna kill you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to, like to thank God for being here. And I'd like to thank my mother for being here, Helen Johnson. She's sitting back there. Thank you. I'd also like to thank my band director, Willie Sidner Farmer, Dr. Farmer. And I'd also like to thank my mentor, Charles Honeyboy Otis. And most of all, I'd like to thank Greg Allman, Dickie Betts, and Butch Trucks. Thank you very much. This is intense. And it's been intense for about 25 years. It's, uh, <laughs> we've had a lot of high peaks and some low valleys, but it's always been intense. <laughs> and uh, I just, I guess the only regret is that Dwayne and Barry aren't here. Uh, but I want to thank, uh, you know, echo what Dickie said, Bert, Johnny, uh, Tom. And I want to thank the new brothers, uh, Warren Haynes, Alan Woody, Mark Quignone, and uh, Mr. Erdogan. Uh, this is the heyday of the Almond Brothers. Thank you. And, uh, and uh, thank you all. Thanks for the recognition. Um, thank you. I'd like to thank my father, Dwayne, and his brothers for the music they've given us and you for honoring them. Thank you. I'd just like to say that uh, me and my sister, Brittany, are really happy to be here to be a part of something so great uh, as the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. 
to see such great people be inducted and uh, to be remembered for the rest of time. I know if my father was here, he'd be very grateful and uh, excited about this award. I'd just like to say thank you to all of you for recognizing not only my father, but Dwayne Alban and the four of these men who all together back then did what they believed was the best thing for them. I knew they did it for a reason, and that's why they're here. I'd just like to say thank you.